Hello friends, this is Seher from Easy Peasy and the topic that we are going to discuss today is called as pyruvate oxidation. Now pyruvate oxidation is the second step of aerobic respiration. The first step was glycolysis in which six carbon compound called as glucose will convert itself into three carbon compound called as pyruvate. Now we have two molecules of pyruvate. The second step is that these molecules of pyruvate will enter the mitochondria of a cell and will convert itself into acetyl-CoA. Now this acetyl-CoA will enter the Krebs cycle. Let's discuss this step in a little bit more detail. As you can see in this picture, this is the molecule of pyruvate. And this is the mitochondria. Now this pyruvate will enter the mitochondria with the help of transport protein. Inside the mitochondria, this pyruvate will release carbon dioxide. Just remember that we have two molecules of pyruvate. So over here, two molecules of carbon dioxide will be released. Then, with the help of pyruvate dehydrogenase, it will convert itself into acetyl-CoA. The enzyme that is called as pyruvate dehydrogenase means that it is going to remove hydrogen from a compound. But if we look at the molecules of pyruvate, it does have three atoms of hydrogen. And if we look at the acetyl-CoA, we still have the three atoms of hydrogen. So where does this enzyme will remove hydrogen from? The answer is that it is going to remove hydrogen from coenzyme A. Coenzyme A looks like this. So this is the hydrogen that will get released from coenzyme A and will attach itself with the NAD+, converting itself into NADH. And coenzyme A will attach itself with this carbon of pyruvate, converting itself into acetyl-CoA. Now, this acetyl-CoA with the two carbon compound is ready to enter the Krebs cycle. The other name of Krebs cycle is citric acid cycle, where these two carbon atoms will get released in the form of carbon dioxide over here. If we look at the overall reaction of aerobic respiration, we can see that from one glucose molecule, we can release six carbon dioxide. And we can see that in this picture. From one glucose, two pyruvate will release two carbon dioxide. And then two acetyl-CoA will release four carbon dioxide over here. So in total, six carbon dioxide molecules are released from glucose. The rest amount of energy is released in the form of energy carrier that is NADH and FADH2 that will enter the electron transport chain where it will convert itself into ATP molecule. And the electrons that are released in this process will be gained by the final acceptor that is the oxygen that will convert itself into water molecule. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe our channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.